I'm Dr. Habib. I'm the medical director of Next Health, the originator of the University of Sheffield Executive Physical. Well, let me tell you, the third most common disorder now is fatty liver disease. We actually specifically say non-alcohol related fatty liver disease. That's no more than saying fat being stored in the liver. What does that mean? Well, for the average person, we tend to overconsume and not expend that air fuel. So what happens is that the body tries to store it for a rainy day. One of the most common places to store it is the liver. There are many other places, muscle fibers, inside the abdomen, that means we call that visceral fat, not even the fat that's outside. It's literally the people where you say that they have a big belly, but when you squeeze the fat, it's not really much. It's because it's inside, that's even worse. So let's talk about non-alcoholic fatty liver disease. Why is that so important? The liver is an amazing organ. And if the fat is replacing the position of the liver cells, the hepatocytes, you can't get the function from the liver. So not only am I going to explain what fatty liver is in terms of sugar storage and possibly diabetes in the form of insulin resistance, I just want to tell you how amazing the liver is. Let me explain how amazing the liver is. If you were to remove two-thirds of a liver, it's an amazing organ that will grow and fill that space. Is there any other organ that can do that? When you want to make protein, your liver's making it. When you want to process sugar and fat, we call it carbohydrate and fat metabolism, it's the liver. Basically, the, anything that your gastrointestinal system, your gut, processes and absorbs into the bloodstream has to go through the liver. So the liver is an amazing organ that is producing clotting factors, immune cells, the list goes on and on and on. So stop. If that's the case, you cannot afford fatty infiltration in the liver. For people who cook, like I do, if you look at the liver of an animal like a chicken and you see one is pink and purple and, and bright and the other one is chalky and yellowy, fatty liver. Literally, you can see the fatty liver. On an ultrasound, you can see the fatty changes. And you know, you can't see the human liver like that, but literally, if you could see your liver and it looked fatty, it's fatty. But some of the signs of fatty liver would be your liver enzymes are elevated. That's the sign that your liver cells are being damaged. So fat being stored in the liver is actually damaging your liver cells, okay? And a very mild version of hepatitis, you know, inflammation in the liver, okay? Now, not least, the liver cells are amazing. You want them richly purple colored, full of blood. You don't want the fat stored in those liver cells. How does fasting come into it? Once you deprive your body, your body is going to scavenge around for fuel. It's going to look for fat to break down as fuel. The good news is when you break down fat, you produce ketones. That's fuel for the brain, by the way. The mental clarity that I was describing, you can get mental clarity through fasting. Once your body's breaking down stores of fat in the liver, you're liberating, you're releasing the fatty stored in the liver, you can reverse fatty liver. It doesn't take long. I suspect within four to six weeks, you can reverse fatty liver. Now, it doesn't even have to be a full fast, so long as you understand the concept that if you are able to put in less than you put out, your body's going to go to the stores and pull them out. So fasting is just an intense way. And I suspect if you're fasting that it may even take shorter than four to six weeks to get the results that you're looking for. And for people who say that doing fasting, you know, I, I can't really work out, I have no energy, that's psychological because for sure, your body is designed to break down glycogen in the liver to produce glucose. Well, that's called glucogenesis. Your body is designed to create glucose. Frankly, when people are under stress who haven't eaten, their glucose can go up. I'm one of them. It, in other words, your body has all the mechanisms in place to be able to utilize glucose. The fact is, when you put too much, it gets stored. When you're fasting, you're actually positively encouraging the release of those stored glucose. And as the glucose is released, then the fats have to be broken down. And that's how you reverse fatty liver disease.